Tesla are on a full rampage with full self-driving, guys. They're all in on full self-driving. We know that. But never before have we seen Tesla update full self-driving this quickly, this fast, with so many improvements coming so quickly. Tesla say they are no longer compute constrained. I think we're going to see a rapid speed of, of improvement with full self-driving. We've got the new version, version 12.3.5. Here's what people are actually saying about it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Tesla is now rolling out the latest version of its full self-driving software. And the update has been mentioned a few times already. Tesla owners with the update, um, it's 2024.3.20. After the company just began deploying version 12.3.4 only a couple of weeks ago. So this is the newer version. This is version 12.3.5. Tesla has been rolling out new versions of its version 12 software over the past few months. There's just a relentless number of versions coming out. New ones, new ones, new ones, new ones. That's after Tesla dropped the term beta and they replaced it with supervised at the end of last month. Now you do have to supervise your full self-driving, but if you don't, if you fall asleep, then, well, first of all, the car will stop. But if you are able to somehow hijack the car and make it think you're not asleep, then, well, there's less chance of crashing now than there ever has been before. Put it that way. It's working incredibly well. Numerous owners are saying the full self-driving has enormously improved this year. There's still some bugs, but a lot of people are driving to work and back without touching anything. It's very common now. Tesla's full self-driving version 12 has been considered to be a key piece of the autonomy puzzle, says Teserati. It's shifting to using end-to-end -end neural network control for vehicle functions that were previously governed by code. In other words, it's almost like a person is driving your car, that person is becoming smarter and becoming better at driving. They still make some mistakes from time to time, but those mistakes are becoming fewer and fewer. First version 12 updates were spotted going out to employees in November. However, Tesla has highlighted in its release notes for the new version 12 that the updated software eliminates over 300,000 lines of human written code that previously controlled functions such as steering, acceleration, and braking. It now relies completely on its neural network, which is trained by millions of frames of video from real world driving scenarios on a daily basis. And Tesla has basically a supercomputer it's called, uh, the neural network's called Dojo, and that is what's now running your full self-driving. And it's, yeah, it's much better than what it used to be. People were saying for a long time, Tesla are not gonna solve it, autonomy, it doesn't work, it's crap, full self-driving is garbage. Um, this whole, this whole um, vision thing that Tesla got, it's not gonna work, they need radar, they have to have, um, you know, they absolutely must have LiDAR. Without LiDAR, without radar, it's never going to work. Without all these extra sensors, it's not going to work. Tesla said, no, vision is the answer. And a lot of people said that's wrong. Now those voices, I'm not seeing them much anymore. The people who are saying it's it's wrong, vision's not going to work. They've, some of those people have seen Xpeng, what they're doing as well. They're kind of doing a similar thing to Tesla. But a lot of people are now saying, oh, I'm going to keep quiet now because maybe it will work. Tesla has been conducting what appears to be an all-out offensive on full self-driving. It's cut the price in half. It's now $99 per month. It's now cheaper as well. It's gone from $12,000 US dollars to $8,000 US dollars. Um, that's in America, but it's also cheaper in some other countries as well. Tesla are saying they will unveil their robo-taxi platform in August. Along with that, the full self-driving fleet has passed 1 billion cumulative miles driven. I'm not exactly sure how relevant that is because some of those miles would be back when all that code was being used, that human written code. But anyway, Tesla has begun offering one month free trials. It wants to get you to try it and see how good it is. It, Tesla really believes now if you test it, you'll go, okay, I'm going to stick with this. This is pretty good. What are your thoughts, guys? Have you had that experience? People who have had this recent update lately, um, there's not that many yet because I you know, it's, this is a very new update, but people have been saying it's the best version of Tesla's full self-driving ever. Sometimes people say it's not, you know, sometimes updates come out and people are like, oh, you know, I think it's actually gotten worse. However, I have read a few times, our two full self-driving systems are working better with this new upgrade. Is this been your experience? Have you got this upgrade yet? 
If you have, let me know in the comments what your experience was. Let me know if you agree. I mean, is this, do you think Tesla's vision approach, will it work? Will it solve autonomy? Will, it, will, will Tesla actually get there this year or next year or, or never? What are you, what's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.